Welcome back to Hot Takes, the motorcycle show for busy people who love motorcycles. And today we've got an exciting topic, and that is Bastianini's move on the last lap at the race at Mizano. Some people are saying he was wrong, he should have lost that place, he should not have gotten first place. Other people are saying that it was perfectly fine. It was just a hard move, and it's perfectly fine. The riders are split on it. So let's break it down step by step and look at what happened and who was right and who was wrong in the situation. So what happened? Well, Bastianini had been following Martin for the whole entire race and he was getting closer and closer. He had a little bit more pace than Martin did and he was right on his tail. He was very, very close and he had been close for quite a while. Well, he had been looking and looking for a way to pass and this track is very, very hard to overtake. You can see people with significant speed who spend a long time behind another rider who they're not able to make the overtake because it's so difficult at this track. He feels like he has no other choice and he just stuffs it right up the inside. And when he does this, he pushes Martin out wide. He runs all the way out to the outside of the track and Martin goes completely off the track and then he takes off and he has a big advantage and Martin's very angry, he's gesturing, he makes some impolite gestures with his hands. Afterward, Martin calmed down a little bit and he was pretty unhappy with the move, um, but he was less upset than he was in the moments after it, which is understandable. So, is this a move that should have been sanctioned by the FIM stewards? should he have had to be demoted to second place. They said it was a racing incident. We are not going to investigate. That was their official thing right after. We're not even going to touch this. We're not even going to investigate this. So why did they make that decision? Well, a few things in his favor. Um, first of all, it was a last lap move. You are given a little bit of leeway um, when you're fighting for the win on the last lap we want exciting racing. We want people to go for those overtakes and try and make it happen. And he did. He showed that he was brave enough to make the move and get the win. Now, was it a clean move? Not really, right? Um, he did. He, he went completely off the racing line. Right, He was not able to hold his racing line. If he'd been able to stay right on the inside uh, and hit that apex, then it would have been clear that he had, he had established his position. He did show Martin his front tire. He, he was clearly there on the inside. Um, and this is another check mark in his favor. He felt like he didn't really have another choice in order to overtake and make that work. And so that's why the stewards felt like it was, it was okay and they were going to let it sit. So why are some riders, including Mark, which is ironic, which we're going to talk about in a minute, why did they say that he should have had to been demoted? If you're not able to hold your racing line and you run out wide and you push, you just barge the other person out of the way, um, it is considered illegal. You can't just barge other racers out of the way. However, one key factor is that Martin did not crash. So it would have been looked at completely differently if Martin had crashed. When we see rubbing going on and a, and a rider is punted out and, and ends up crashing, then the rider who did that almost always gets a, a penalty. They get some sort of demotion. Um, they, there are consequences for that. However, we can see many times when uh, Brad Bender has made hard moves on people, you know, rub people, push them out wide, and other riders, you know, Mark included, and did not receive penalties. Let's take a look back at the Spanish GP 2013. Mark was a rookie. It was his first year, and he is fighting for second place with Jorge Lorenzo. He comes from way back. He dives up the inside. He misses the apex and punts Jorge Lorenzo out wide, basically off the track, and then he goes and takes second place. That move is very similar to what Bastianini did, so it's a little interesting that Mark is now condemning a move that he would have done 9, 10, 11 years ago. 
one aspect that's very important to consider when you're talking about the steward's decisions, and it probably seems unfair, but this is the fact that they are in an Italian track. They're at Misano. Ducati is sitting there looking at their 100th win. It's a factory rider, an Italian factory rider, who is in question. And imagine if the stewards came back and they said, while Bastianini is celebrating, saying, woo hoo hoo, he, he's celebrating for his crowd, everybody's happy, everybody's clapping, and they say, he's demoted, he is not the winner of this race, we've decided that Martin is because of this move. How unpopular would they have been? Because we're dealing with Ducati's home track, Ducati factory rider, Italian rider, the fans would have gone berserk. They would have been extremely angry. Now, that doesn't mean that we should always bend to popular opinion, um, but it is a factor, right? How much of a factor did it play? I don't know. I'm not a steward. I wasn't in there, but I feel like that had some sort of weight on it. So, do I think that they made the right decision? The answer is is yes. And the reason for that is that what is the racing that we watch MotoGP for? The aggressive rubbing is racing, the exciting moments that blow up on social media, right? That's why we watch MotoGP. If you penalize this type of behavior, this type of riding, obviously you want it to be safe, right? Um, however, if you penalize this too much, you're going to have boring racing. You're gonna have riders that are scared to go for those overtakes and you don't want that. You don't want to watch boring MotoGP. And so I believe the stewards made the right decision. It was not a dangerous move. Jorge Martin knew that he was there, saw him and avoided an accident. Was it a hard move? Was it a move that was definitely on the edge? Yeah, yeah. And I can understand Martin being angry about it. However, the racing that we watch MotoGP for is exciting. It's the moves that Rossi and Marquez make uh, where they go for broke. It's win or crash, right? Um, that's their mentality, and that's why we watch it. What do you think? Do you think the stewards were right, or were they bending to political pressure? Let us know in the comments, and join us again next time on Hot Takes, the motorcycle show for busy people who love motorcycles.